watch you and Cardi B go back and forth. Yeah. I like Cardi B. I like Cardi B. I liked her in Love and Hip Hop a lot. Why do you guys go back and forth? And also, I don't even think you guys really go back and forth about actual, you know, intellectual ideas. It's just kind of like... she tries, but she tries to play on the court of intellectuality, and that drives me crazy, right? So let me tell you when... Cardi B caught my attention, right? Mm -hmm. I don't care. Cardi B, you want to rap? You want to do whatever you want to do? Whatever. I liked her better in Love and Hip Hop when she had bad teeth, personally. (laughs) Because she was fun. She actually, she just seemed, she seemed happier in a weird way. And, you know, sometimes more money, more problems. Things get more serious. I get it. But, you know, she, when she was selected by the Biden administration to answer questions on behalf of the black community, and I knew what he was going to represent. So all of these taxes that you- You think she was selected? Of course, they sat down and they think we're stupid, right? Do you think of all of the people that the Biden... I thought she started to speak and then and then people kept looking at her for no, answers to No, this is when things. he was running, okay? Oh, okay. Talking about when he was running, when oh. she had the super long nails and she interviewed him and during COVID. No one can get an interview oh, with Biden and they oh, picked so, oh, Cardi so, okay, B okay, okay, to okay, interview okay. Biden. You remember right. that? You know? Okay, all right. Yeah, I think yeah, she was yeah, wearing yeah. like a green, you know? Yeah, I forgot about that. Okay, okay. so think about that moment. Joe Biden will give interviews to no one. He's claiming COVID, blah, blah, blah. He's, he, he's not a single freaking rally. He's cars honking in front of him for a little bit. Suddenly, I feel, someone I feel on, a little senile, though. I ain't gonna lie to Someone you. on his team decides that Joe Biden should allow Cardi B to interview him. Now, what is the reason for that? This is how I think, right? Tapping the cult- culture? Yeah. Black people are stupid. We don't need to talk to them about any of these. If, if, why didn't they pick me? Why didn't they, Forget it. Forget me. Black community maybe doesn't like me at that time. I'm talking about Black Lives Matter. You don't have Killer Mike. Yeah. Why don't you pick a smarter representative from the black community than Cardi B, okay? And she acted like Cardi B. Oh, cr- oh, cr- like, there were some <laughs> serious questions that should have been asked in that moment. We knew, at least in the conservative side, right? She did. She was like, uh, super long oh, nails. Oh, cr- uh, cr- about, you know, she didn't even talk to like English. Cardi. Fine. No. I like Cardi if she's on a podcast about hip hop. But when, you're tr- when you are driving black Americans to vote for this candidate, and now black Americans, what's up with these gas prices? Wait, wait hold on. No. These, I can tell you what's up with them. He it, was always going to do this. If you understood who Joe Biden was and knew his record, if you had had someone out there actually trying to tell you this was coming around the corner, they had you, again, going back to Malcolm X quote, believing that Donald Trump was your enemy. You guys were all living better under Donald Trump. You don't want to admit it because you're not allowed to say it on the, you're not allowed to say it, right? You were all living better under Trump. You had jobs. The gas prices were the lowest they've ever been. You were living good, but the media said, hate him, hate him. Hate I ain't gonna him. lie. That's what my stocks to go back, man. That's why I got him get him out crashed, of here. Man. He intentionally crashed. Get him out of here, man. We were telling you that this dude was a socialist. We were telling you that he was gonna shrink the middle class. He was literally installed to shrink the middle class, right? He, he, all this uh, green energy, green energy, green energy. We're Some people would you, argue, though. He could, all he has to do right now is turn the pipelines on. We literally, America creates, we, we have our own gas here. He, all he has to do is turn pipelines on. Oh, well, green energy, we want you to uh, have electric cars. You, can you afford a 55,000 electric car? We, if you had an intelligent person that was interviewing him, okay, black America may have seen that coming around the corner. I saw it coming around the corner, but oh gosh, she was behind Trump. Okay, well then, you know what? I don't feel bad for you when you fill up your tank. It's $105. Wait, wait, wait. honest question. Do you really think that, so if some people I hear argue that, they would say, um, well, the economy was going to crash anyway. No. Or what, what, how can you just say it's, it's such foolishness. You just keep thinking every it's, time. It's, it's one of those things where they're like, hey, listen, it's, it, it's stupidity. It's happened while it was just Biden's amazing in office. when Trump was in office for all four years. And then right when Biden got in, instantly gas prices went up. And, yeah, and, and, and I love the lie of yeah. the Putin war. They were going up like crazy before uh, Ukraine and Russia were ever even fighting. And they think you're stupid. Right. So the idea is black America is stupid. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep toting out whoever we think is popular in black America during election time. Now, Never call them ever again, but expect Black Americans to vote that way. So in this election, like he, it was Cardi B. Before that, when Hillary was running, she taught it out Jay-Z and Beyonce talking about why I don't like them, right? Because yeah, Hillary pulled Hillary, out the hot sauce out of the purse. That was crazy. And, <laughs> and Charlemagne let it fly. He basically, what did he say? He was like, well, some people might say you're a painter. I would have been like, why did you do that? Biden was wild too. He's like, if you're not, you ain't black if you don't vote for me. I'm like, damn, God damn. Charlemagne let that fly too. Hey, the, <laughs> I mean, you, you've you, you've touted the I think you call it the the Brexit, right? Like yeah. the, just black people at least, you know, just exiting, just unilaterally, just voting for Democrats. I agree with that too. You know, you um, why do you think that it's just always a, it feels like a snowball effect as soon as there's a, a major election coming up and just there's no voices that's really taking both sides and comparing to really make a legitimate choice. I'm not saying you got to go either way. It just always feels like, 
hey, the, the race is decided in the Democratic primaries. And once you get the guy, basically that's the guy. We don't care about what the other guy says. Because independent thinking is not popular in the black community. And people don't like to hear that, but it's the truth. You know, we're, we're so wrapped up in culture and in what cultural icons think, you know, the, the idea. What kind of a community, you know, is calling Beyonce queen? And then when Beyonce queen says vote for Hillary, you do it, right? Because you actually think she's a queen. <laughs> this is why people need to go back to the Bible. And the Bible talks about the harms of idolatry. And this is why, right? Hollywood is evil. The concept of idolizing people. You can like their music, but stop idolizing it's them. Queen B. You know what I mean? Like you got to, you got to. Compromentalize. You can say, I like Cardi B on Love and Hip Hop. I did. I liked her. She's very funny on Love and Hip Hop, actually. She was very funny on Love and Hip Hop, right? But I'm not listening to a word she says when she okurt and talks to freaking Biden. Like, what, but the black what, community can't do that. They just go, oh, well, what this is what this we're though? all doing, I guess. And, and people get on the airwaves. They don't ask them difficult questions. And they, they just go, oh, this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to vote Democrat for no reason. And it's never worked for us, but we're just going to keep doing it anyways. Well, some might say, like, both things could be true, though, in the sense of, um, like, for example, like, they would say what you're saying is, is kind of doing the what they've done to LeBron, like shut up and dribble, right? Where we're, he should I, shut up and dribble because he won't actually have an intellectual discussion. Like, mm. So when, when, I, when somebody says shut up and dribble to LeBron or shut up and rap to Cardi B, there is a way to say, okay, I'm not just this and I want to be authentic and have these discussions. If any of them are being authentic, they would be the killer mics. Killer Mike talks to people on both sides. He does. You can see that he's trying to actually present both sides of the argument. Where in Cardi B's entire repertoire has she presented any other thing but vote Democrat? Well, That's, that makes her a billboard. That makes her an advertisement and a marketing does campaign. Does she need to, though? Imagine if she's like, hey, listen, people like me who think like me, and if they're influenced by me, at least I'm in that position to but talk to But does she explain him. why? Did she say vote for Democrat? No, because no. there's no reason to. There's not even one reason. Actually, a colleague of mine wrote a book called Reasons to Vote for Democrats. It's 100 empty pages because there's not one. There's not one reason. <laughs> okay? There literally isn't. If you're a black American and you're voting Democrat, you're out of control. You li it means you know nothing about the way you're living, how you got to where you're living, what's going on outside. It's political ignorance for black Americans to vote for Democrats. It really I, is. I, I'm, I'm